Good morning, guys. Uh, so today I'm actually going to do a drugstore or mostly drugstore products. Get ready with me. So this is like a kind of a work thing. Um, work kind of. I guess makeup. It's going to be very simple, and this is the look. Um, again, I'm, I'm going to mention this throughout the video. I know it's a, maybe a foundation is a little dark, but the shade I was looking for was sold out, and I thought this might work. It kind of didn't. Um, but yeah, but I recorded the video anyways with the shade. Anyways, yeah. So I hope you guys have a great day, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. All right, guys. So the first step, obviously, is um, not everything's going to be in drugstore because some stuff I can't use in drugstore and some stuff I just don't have them. And I was looking for them yesterday. So this is the SPF 30 oil by Juice Beauty. It's good because like it doesn't have any oil and doesn't like irritate or like add more oil to my face because I do ha I do have really oily skin. And yes. So ignore the powder. Um, I forgot to moisturize my face and that's really important because it has SPF and it's summertime right now. So I'm just going to like wipe that off, add a little moisturizer. And then when that's done, I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty. This is one of the products I don't have in drugstore and I did look for them yesterday but I couldn't find them. Um, so this is a Fenty Beauty powder. I'm just going to add a little bit in the areas that I know it gets really oily. And up there. It looks a little messy, I know, but we'll fix it. Don't worry. Then I'm going to go ahead in to my NYX uh, full coverage concealer. It's in, it's green, so like kind of like cover up those pimples. You see, I have two over here, two over there, and one over there. Quite big, too. I don't know what's going on with my skin. But whatever it is, I wish it would stop. So I covered it up like that. Um, okay, so the foundation I'm use, gonna use today is like, like I got this idea off of like um, Jaclyn Hill, and now she's not very popular right now with the whole scandal and everything. But I'm gonna use, and I did watch her video, and this foundation looked absolutely beautiful on her. It's the Milani Conceal and Perfect Two in One Foundation. And I got the shade Warm Beige. I think this is a little too dark for me. I'll be honest. Um, the shade I wanted wasn't in stock. So I'm going to hope it's alright. You know what I mean? Because sometimes, I don't know. Maybe it'll work. Because I am a little tan right now. Um, so let's see how this goes. Also, let's not hide open it. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to pump a little bit on my hand because I like to just, you know, get it on my hand first. Alright, and then I'm going to use my foundation brush from my marble set at Rosie. Oh my god, rosieglam.com. Alright, I'm just going to start with my neck. Oh yeah, that's a little too dark. Maybe I can make it work. Nope, it's a little dark. Actually, nope, it's dark. So we're gonna go ahead and ignore the fact that this is a little too dark for me. Um, and just blend it out. Hopefully, it'll look better with like me using the powder and the the concealer to like lighten up my skin a little bit. I definitely cannot wear this shade during the winter time. Oh no. Yeah, everyone, please do ignore the fact. And I'm fully aware this is too dark for me. But I really did want to um, record this video today. And honestly, I could not find my shade. You know what though? Luckily, my mom is this shade. 
so she can probably wear it. I'm gonna need a little bit more. You know what though, this would be such a beautiful tan color on me. If I could get tan like this. I was in Mexico and in summertime in Mexico, right? There was a lot of sun and I could not even tan properly. I just, I don't know, I deflect sun. You know? So I'm going to just kind of finish it off with bouncing my little sponge, Morphe sponge on it just to like kind of make it like look more of a flawless skin, a flawless finish kind of thing. Oh, that's so annoying. I really wish this, I really wish this had been my color, but it's just too dark. <sighs> Next I'm going to go in with the Milani Conceal and Perfect Long Work Concealer. So maybe I can get this to brighten up a little bit. And this is in the shade Light Nude. Alright guys, so never ask me to match you. Because apparently I can't even match myself. You know what? That's not true. I'm I knew in the store this might be a little too dark for me. Um, but I got it anyways. I don't know why. Most of the time, my issue is I get something that's too light for me. You know what I mean? Um, but today I got something that's too dark for me. I really like the concealer so far. Like it has a very nice texture to it. It's nice and thick too, so like it's not like one of those flimsy um, concealers. Right. I just gotta tap that, tap that into my skin. But you can't deny that it's giving me texture. So there's that. Um, I don't know how I feel about this still. I'm gonna have to go downstairs with like sunlight to see how this looks afterwards. I'm probably gonna take it off and not go to work like this. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna use, I'm gonna contour my skin. Um, so again, this is one of those things I couldn't find in a drugstore. I mean, I did, but I just, I don't know. I wasn't really a fan of that line, so I just didn't buy it. Um, so it was just going to be something really cheap and gross. So I did get this. Uh, I have this Fenty Beauty Amber. What's the word? I just said a contour stick. I'm um, just going to lightly. The things you do for YouTube. Let me use my Crystal Set um, Contour Brush. And I'm just going to pull that up. I don't know which YouTuber I saw, but I saw that they said never pull it, like, brush it down, always brush up your contour. So 
So that's what I've been doing. Maybe I need to... Yeah, I'm probably going to do my entire, like, chest area as well. Because, let's be honest, if I'm going to wear this, my chest needs to be this color too. You know what's weird though? I don't know, and it's crazy to me, that there is body foundation. Because I'm like, I don't... Do you have to take a shower every night before you go to sleep? I mean, I take showers in the morning. Like, I have to take them at night as well if I put body foundation but it looks so nice so she with like Kim Kardashian and her her found body foundation look absolutely gorgeous on her skin all right so there's that and then the next thing I'm gonna do so I have my Maybelline fit me um what is it Oh my god, it's like a press powder. There we go. I'm like, what is the word for this? There is a word. Alright. Um, so I'm not going to bronze my face today. For obvious reasons. I feel like I don't need to. But I am going to bake it. So kind of just like where I did have my contour. Um, I usually do bronze my face. So I'm just going to put it. I wanted to lighten up my my foundation a little bit, you know what I mean? I'm going to put it right here, right there, and underneath my eyes. So I skipped a step today. So while that's happening, I usually do my eye makeup. i got powder all over me. Or... If those days I don't want to do I my eye makeup like today, I have my lashes done so like still in a good place where I don't want to do eye makeup, you know what I mean? Because it's like I look good with, I don't know. It's just one of those things that I feel like I don't want to put eye makeup on because my lashes are looking hella good for now. So I'm just going to kind of just like brush it in it. If you guys can see, I did brush down my eyelash, my eyebrows a little bit, and I'm just going to try to fill behind them. And then, alright, I'll be right back because I can't film this on camera. Okay, so my eyebrows are done. Um, they're not in the best shape that I want them to be, so I can't, you know, fill them in as, as I would like. Um, oh, just got a little too much of product over there. Okay. So that's fine. So this is still setting in and then I'm just going to go ahead and do my, my blush. So this is the Wet n Wild, what is it, uh, Mega Glow Makeup Stick and it's a blush. And I'm just going to, just going to draw a line and I'll just like blend it out with my bunch. I really do like this. Um, this is one of my favorite blushes because a, it's really cheap. I think it was like three or four bucks. Um, I'm just going to pull that in a little bit. Okay. So that's done. And then the next thing I'm going to brush these off. Okay, then I'm going to put on my lipstick, and this is one of my favorite lipsticks, actually. Alright guys, so I do have to finish the rest of this on my phone, so I'm sorry if it's not as great of a quality. Uh, I have to run to work, so this has to kind of like, we have to conclude this video. So I'm, I was going to say, my next uh, thing I'm going to do is put on my lipstick. And this is in the shade 65 Seductress. I'm just going to do this. 
I was really looking for a uh, lip liner yesterday as well, for similar to this shade or like a nude color. I couldn't find it. Maybe it was just the warmer I was and everything was just sold out. I'm going to look into the mirror for a second. And this is one of my favorite shades and favorite lipsticks out there. It's just, it has such a beautiful finish. Okay. So there's that. And then the last thing I'm going to do is spray. So this is the Makeup Forever, sorry, not Makeup Forever. This is the Makeup Revolution I Heart Makeup Fixing Spray. Once, and it's pretty good spray. So I'm going to go ahead and spray my face with it. Just set everything in. Alright, so everything's set now. Um, video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry that this shade, and you're probably going to put it in the comments, is not for me. I know it's not. It's dark. Uh, but I really did want to film this. Um, I'll be honest, I don't know yet if I'm going to repurchase Milani. Just because like, I feel like it's sitting on my skin really weird and it shows all my pores and scars a lot. Um, so it's not like, it's, I don't know, I didn't like the finish too much. Maybe I'm like For me, I'm the type of person I need to use it a couple of times before I make a final judgment. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to purchase this, so I wasn't um, going, I'm not going to go out and purchase another one. It's just going to be a waste of money. Um, but yeah, I'm sorry I've been away for so long. And I hope to see you next video very soon. It won't take as long as the last one, I promise.